Alright guys, so coming at you with another video. Uh, sorry I haven't really been uploading like I should. I actually got quite a bit done on the truck. Uh, I've also been really busy. It's been raining a lot lately, so I haven't really got a lot of time. But um, this is an update on the truck. It's looking a lot different as you can see. Way, way different. Got the control arms on. So what I ended up going with was some Michigan Metalworks upper and lower control arms. It's my two inch section cross member. So right now the truck is resting on this bag mount right here. Other than that, I mean this thing is laid out. As you can see. Laid out. Z is done. Pretty happy with how it came out. Uh, there are little things here and there that I need to fix, need to work on, but uh, as far as the big stuff goes, front half of the truck is just about finished. I mean, gotta start putting it back together, obviously, but yeah, just so you guys could uh, kind of get a perspective. The arm. So, think about these Michigan Metalworks. They have what's called the Dodger arm. So this. Whenever you have your stock steering box, your stock steering box is right around here. So the shaft goes from there to here. So when you're laid out, the control arm is in the way. So they cut this notch so that the shaft could kind of go in between that notch and the arms aren't really in the way and then you can lay it out all the way. Uh, that doesn't really matter for me since I'll be going with uh, rack and pinion steering. The shaft will go like this. But... If you have a stock C10, I really, 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 really recommend these arms. So say you're, you're trying to do just a traditional drop, not necessarily a body drop. Or even say you are doing a body drop, but you're keeping the, the steering box. Get these arms. These arms will do you wonders. And they also, what they do is they move the wheelbase. I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys seen my other videos. Uh, I actually encourage you, if you haven't seen my other videos, go ahead and check them out. But uh, what they do is they center the wheel. So the control arms, uh, let me see if I can show you guys. The control arm, it's not centered. So the stock one, the ball joint would be right around here. So it's not centered. It's moved forward. That will allow for the wheel to be centered. So rather than doing what my original plan was going to be, which was incorporating that in the Z, uh, what I went ahead and did was just kind of got those arms and used that. So, cause what I was going to do was kind of move the Z forward an inch. I didn't end up doing that. I just Z'd it straight up and down two inches. But, uh, yeah, that turned out to be a lot easier than what I was going to do. I mean, obviously a lot more money, but these things are not going to be cheap. But yeah, just so you can kind of get a perspective of the front of the truck. So it isn't completely finished. Like I said, the truck is resting on on that bag mount. But um, what I can show you guys is the frame is just about on the ground. The frame is pretty much sitting on the ground. Um, so what I'll have to do to lay the rocker panel is cut, I believe it was an inch off of like a three foot section so I think it starts here and it ends somewhere over here I'll have to cut an inch out of the frame sorry if I can get a focus cut an inch out of the frame kind of make it thinner so that whenever I go to fold this piece back this will lay on the ground because if I just lay it out right now it'll lay the frame and kind of this pinch weld but I don't want to lay the pinch weld I want to lay the rocker so this is going to be pushed back this it's going to be on the ground. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. There we go. Anyway. Yeah. So that's the truck right now. The back still is not cut. It is laying on the frame. Uh, the axle. There's still no C-notch in it yet. So the axle is kind of maxed out as low as it can go right now but um so far so good i'm pretty happy with how it's turning out i know a lot of you guys wanted to see uh 
a video of me doing the work. Uh, I do apologize. I did not film a lot because whenever I went to go work on the truck, it was kind of uh, unexpected or I would work on it fucking like 20, 30 minutes here and there because I do work. And by the time I get off of work, it's dark. So that doesn't really motivate me to work on the truck. But um, whenever I do, I only work on it for a little bit. So I do apologize. I did not film a lot of the work. I do have a couple clips, however, I'll probably show now. But, um, yeah, I mean, as far as the front goes, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Minimal camber on the rest of the wheel. Very minimal. Uh, looks like it's going to be just going to be a driver. So, kind of walk around a little bit more. If there's anything you guys want to see in particular, uh, as far as any of the work that I've done so far, if, if you guys want any kind of close-up videos on the Z or anything like that, uh, please let me know, comment. Uh, if you guys want a link to the Michigan Metalworks Control Arms, let me know. I'll add a link in the description. Uh, obviously, it'll be after the video's up. I'll edit. go ahead and edit the description and add the link. But um, so far, really liking how the truck is turning out. All right, well, let me know what you guys think. Um, if there's any suggestions as well, please let me know. Um, but so far, I mean, that's pretty much it. If, if there's anything in specific, like I said, that you guys want to see, go ahead and let me know. But for now, it's pretty much the truck, pretty much the build so far. Um, I'm going to try and go ahead and roll this truck in the garage. Because right now it's on my driveway. I'm going to try ahead and go roll it in the garage. Kind of get it on level ground. That way when I go to do the back. Uh, I'm not doing so much math for the pinion angle and whatnot. Um, but yeah. So whenever I go to do to, to roll the truck into the garage. Whenever I go to do the back. I will film that. That I promise you guys. I will film me doing the back. And uh, doing the four link and all that. Uh, because I know, I know a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see the work. And I imagine a time lapse or something like that would be pretty cool to see. So I'm trying my best, guys. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm really new to this YouTube thing. But uh, if there's if there's any tips, if there's anything that you guys want to see in particular, once again, I know I'm getting pretty annoying with this, but let me know. Uh, but until now, I mean, that's pretty much it. So thank you, guys.